and Dragon's Flight Computer getting into approach to approach. So we've Denver, gotten that video. We've been able to confirm alignment here on the ground. The NASA flight director and the SpaceX mission director have conferred and confirmed Dragon is in good alignment. We have additional tools available. Uh, giving us degrees it's off access to the telemetry the crew calls of Dragon at 10, during its approach. Two and one, and we'll be hands off at two meters. Good copy, Dragon. All right, so Dragon is now accelerating in for docking. So again, we were able to get that ground pass video. The teams here in Houston visiting vehicle officer, other support personnel confirmed Dragon was in good alignment. And that video from the ground site, that's the one you were just seeing on the left. So Dragon's now continuing in towards docking. We've departed waypoint two. We're only 17 and a half meters away. We confirmed good alignment and we've got additional views now trained on Dragon, giving additional situational awareness. And we're continuing to get those updates from the navigational equipment on board Dragon the LIDAR is giving real-time range rate. Uh, we're getting real-time degrees, and that's also being fed to the crew in real time. They don't have that video, but they do have all that additional data that's able to give them uh, enough data to make decisions for a board if they need to. So we have proceeded. We are go for docking. Dragon's flying in, it's moving at less than a tenth of a meter per second. We're just about 15 meters away now from the docking port on the space facing side of node two. Should be just under three minutes away from docking. And you can see the soft capture ring on the docking mechanisms extended. It's got three of those slightly triangular looking shapes, and those are the pedals that are going to be used to guide it in to the passive docking me mechanism on the station side. After that makes the initial attachment, that docking ring is going to retract, bring it in, and then it's going to be able to make a hard mate, engaging 12 hooks to give a, the, the hard mate, the hard dock um, to the space station. SpaceX copies 10 meters. So 10 meters again, once we get to about six meters, you're gonna hear the crew call out chop. That's the crew hands off point. That's just giving direction to the crew on board Dragon not to make any manual control decisions or movements as everything gets handled by the flight computer from that point in. Eight meters away. Continuing to get confirmation that Dragon is in the correct attitude in the approach corridor, not tracking any issues, just past seven meters from the docking port. Six meters in closing. The International five Docking meters. Adapter number three in view Basics on the lower right there. Five meters. Under five meters to go. Still seeing good alignment. Under three meters. Soft docking ring on two Dragon on top off. there. International docking adapter Basics on the right. Copies, two meters. Two meters, we heard chop call, the crew hands off point. One meter. One meter to go. Dragon, SpaceX, and on the big loop, contact soft and soft capture complete, attenuation in progress. SpaceX Endeavor, copy all, good. All 
All right, so with that contact and capture coming at 7.29 a.m. Central Time, 5.29 a.m. Eastern, that's 12.29 UTC, while the station and Dragon flew 258 statute miles over the Central Atlantic Ocean. So with that initial contact made, the soft capture ring is now going to begin to retract. After Dragon that is SpaceX completed, on the big loop, we'll be able to start capture ring hooks. retraction in progress. Big soft capture ring in progress. So we're now going to see Dragon inch a little bit closer to that docking adapter until it essentially performs a sealed connection. And then we'll be able to engage 12 hooks that uh, form the hard capture function onboard Dragon. Six of those are actually engaged during the launch and on the way into orbit. They hold the nose cone, which you can see opened off to the right there. They hold that in place uh, and then they're opened up once we're on orbit to deploy the nose cone. Uh, but 12 of those are now going to engage after the soft capture ring has retracted. Once those 12 are engaged, we'll have a hard mate. Then we can start co to connect two umbilicals that are going to uh, provide hard line data and power to Dragon through station systems. And then we'll be able to get the docking complete call. And then it's on to uh, some of the post docking operations. So for the crew inside Dragon, they'll be getting out of their suits, uh, doing some basic cabin configuration as they get ready to open the hatch on their side. Uh, that'll be the last hatch to open. Uh, meanwhile, on the station side, uh, Tom Marshburn and the Expedition 67 crew will start outfitting what's called the A-pass hatch. That's the hatch on the station side. It's got a small valve that Marshburn's going to open up to begin to flow atmosphere to the space between the Dragon and the station hatches. Right now, it's still exposed to vacuum, but as soon as we're able to pull Dragon in and engage those hooks, uh, that will become a sealed uh, sealed space and so we'll be able to pressurize it essentially just flowing atmosphere from the station into that previously vacuum space between the two hatches we'll stop a couple of times on the way up and the pressure uh, just to do leak checks and let thermals equalize to make sure that we're actually measuring pressure and how much atmosphere is in there and not just thermal fluctuations um, and so once we get that up to pretty much the same ambient pressure as the space station will open the A-pass hatch first and then it'll be over to the Dragon crew to open the hatch into Crew Dragon Endeavor.